Many rotary pumps use gears or lobes to move processed liquid. Like other rotary pumps, gear pumps and lobe pumps can be used to move viscous liquids, such as heavy fuel oils and tars. Let's look at gear pumps first. One of the more common types of gear pumps is an external gear pump. The external gear pump shown in this illustration consists of a casing with a suction port, a discharge port, and two gears located inside the casing. One gear is rotated by the pump's driver. This gear is often referred to as a power or driver gear. The other gear moves because its teeth are meshed with the teeth of the driver gear. It's called the idler gear. During operation, liquid enters the pump through the suction port. As the gears turn, the liquid is trapped in the spaces between the casing and the gear teeth and moved along the casing. When it reaches the discharge port, it's forced out of the pump. On this type of pump, each space between the gear teeth positively displaces a given amount of liquid. So on each revolution that the gears make, a specific amount of liquid is pumped. 